war sehr gut. So, uh, I'm going to share our vision with you and so uh, we're building the ownership layer of the internet. Right now, 85% of the photos on Google image search are stolen. The music and film industry struggle against piracy. And if you're a digital artist, you can't actually sell this concept of scarcity and exclusivity because files can be copied endlessly. And we think that creators should be able to control their IP and to monetize it better. And we make this possible. We built a ownership registry for digital property and we allow creators to claim ownership of their digital work through cryptographic certificates of authenticity. We allow creators to actually define unique additions for each digital work and sell it individually or to marketplaces. And we also allow marketplaces to source legitimate digital work um, <coughs> that they know where the origin is and that they know they have a title to. And finally, buyers are able to buy original content and that original content has residual value, which is something that's not possible for anything digital. So we built in a secure, transparent ledger that's based off the blockchain. The ledger is decentralized and accessible publicly, but it still protects the privacy of the owners, which is very important. And what do we need to solve this problem? We have on our team uh, decades of experience in machine learning, uh, crypto, and big data. We're starting with digital art, and we have staff who are experts in the art field. They've worked at the Louvre and ran their own galleries. And then for Business Savvy, amongst the founders, we've set up over a dozen companies. Um, we're rolling out the service now, actually this week. Uh, early users have been using it for, um, for the last month. And we're also going to roll on five marketplaces uh, this month and next month to use it. And when that happens, we'll have automatically we'll be ascribing and registering digital property for over 10 million users. Uh, so join us. And if it's interesting for you, help us roll out the uh, ownership later. You're not effectively building a marketplace. You want to provide a software layer to other marketplaces to allow people to subscribe to this. <laughs> That's correct. We see that the bigger play to get a lot of users is via B2B. However, the early users, uh, they give us a certain amount of cachet, will be like leading edge to the digital artists and creators who have, or photographers who have their stuff stolen all the time. And your business model is going to be on the amount of content that's actually stored or crypto wrapped in a sense. So. There's three ways. Number one is transactions. Uh, so you can do a transfer of ownership or title. It's like a property registry. You can take a fee on that. There's subscriptions. Uh, where the machine learning and big data come in is that we've actually swallowed the internet content. And we have a lot of machine learning algorithms that um, if you upload a photo right now on our site, we could actually tell you where it is on the internet. So that's, that's like, that's pretty big machine learning stuff. Um, and then we also have subscriptions. But, so that's subscriptions. And finally, for the B2B people, we can provide this type of service of monitoring and API calls um, on the other side. How do you verify ownership? A photo you can claim ownership for any that you find? So. Yeah, this is a big problem because we have a lot of legacy data, right? Like, the ownership layer of the internet was originally designed in the 1960s and it was, it was forgotten. And now that we're coming at this stage, it's actually necessary because so much more IP is being created in digital, a lot less physical. And so uh, the, the goal is to work with marketplaces who, when there's an economic interest in play and they have a position of responsibility to source proper content, they're willing to pay that. And so they want original content. They also want stuff that, you know, Getty Images already has something. They don't want that, or maybe they do. Or what they want is they want exclusivity. So they want to know that everywhere else on the internet, they don't find this unless it's been ascribed properly. Thank you.